Yes, yes I would have. Dude. I just, wow. I want hard light more. Wait, what? I don't even know I got that. Fuck off. I don't even know I got that. I said you got no land beyond. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dave, <laughs> melt. No! Dave Melt. Dave <laughs> Melt. I would have too. I know. I would have immediately. One I would have swallowed. One I need Bo gets, and the one weapon Bo wants, I get. Bullshit. Welcome back, Guardians, to another Destiny video. And in today's Destiny video, we are going to be looking at my rewards from the raid this week times three, as well as the nightfall times three as well. Now, the clip you just saw at the start of this video was the end of the raid. I wasn't actually recording my own voice. And you hear DPJ's reaction to me getting the Universal Remote because the Universal Remote is the only exotic he needs from the original exotics to complete his collection. And everyone else that he knows is constantly getting it over and over again and he just can't get it. So when I got it in the raid, that was his reaction where he screeched. It was actually quite hilarious. I wish I was recording my voice too, but oh well. So you see some gameplay in the background from one of the raids today on my Hunter. And I just want to talk about the things I got and I'll probably flash some pictures up with what I did get. So the first one obviously was the Universal Remote that I got. Not useful to me whatsoever. I rarely use shotguns and I do believe that the Universal Remote isn't that great at all. So I dismantled it pretty much straight away. If I am going to use a shotgun I would probably use the Sword Breaker, the, um, the Raid one because that is just an absolute animal for a shotgun. But I just hate shotguns in this game, they don't suit my playstyle. So, the Universal Remote unfortunately got dismantled straight away. My second reward was actually on my Warlock. So, on my Warlock, I managed to get the Death Singer's Gaze. The helmet, the raid helmet, the badass looking helmet. So, I will, if I can remember to put it on screen, I will. Um, if I don't, I'm definitely going to be making a video on it anyway about having full raid gear as a level 32 Titan. Um, Titan? Titan? Warlock, so look forward to that. Um, I also got the Titan Arms, that's why I was going to say Titan. Um, and that gives me the chance now to be level 32 on a Titan because I have a fully upgraded exotic head. Well, I have a fully upgraded exotic on every slot, um, but I have raid gear all the way down the body except for the helmet. So now I can actually reach level 32 on my Titan as well. And I probably will make a video on that also when I get to level 32. And then all I got for the rest of the raid was 28 Radiant Shards and 8 Energies. So I'm really happy that I got straight up Radiant Shards because then I can upgrade that gear that I just got without having to go to Eris Morn to swap him over from Energies. So I'm really, really happy about the raid results. I obviously would have preferred to get some more helmets especially and, and especially some more gear for my Hunter. My Hunter got absolutely no gear, absolutely no weapons throughout the entire raid. All I got was complete and utter energies and shards and I got the cryptograph um, cryptographic shader at the end so disappointed with the hunter run but I got quite a few other stuff from the um, raid but I also got quite a actually quite a couple of good things in the nightfalls so across all three nightfalls one reward was 11 ascendant energy now I am dying for ascendant energies I need as much as possible because I'm getting so many legendary weapons from factions and stuff that I can't fully upgrade because I don't have enough energies and all I ever get seem to be shards every day in the daily heroic everything I do I seem to get shards and it's driving me up the wall because I have like 200 shards that I don't spend on anything anymore because I have full ray gear or mostly ray gear on all my characters and I have now with those 11 ascendant energies 12 ascendant energies and I'm struggling, I really am. I really wish they'd incorporate a system to swap your shards for your energy for the Ascendant materials, because you can do it with your Radiant materials, but why not your Ascendant materials? Um, really, really frustrating, it really is. Next, I got the Calming Fusion Rifle. It's a fire fusion rifle. Well, the one that dropped for me was a fire one anyway. Uh, it's got quite a good charge rate and the impact's a little bit lower, so it looks like it's it fires more often and does slightly less damage, which would go down well in my opinion in Crucible and last but not least I got the Truth Rocket Launcher now I haven't really been a fan of the Truth Rocket Launcher ever but now I'm deciding to split my weapons across three, um, three separate characters I now have a rocket launcher a separate rocket launcher for my Hunter which is the Truth so I'm really happy that I got that too especially because it's void damage as well because I don't have a void damage rocket launcher and that will obviously come in useful on other Nightfalls so that is everything I got today from the weekly reset on the Nightfalls and the raid I haven't done the weekly heroic shit because I've been so busy with other stuff 
but you don't really get anything special from them anyway they usually just get nine strange coins and a couple of blue engrams if i do get anything different i will make a video on it for you guys so tell me what you got in the raid tell me what you got in the nightfall let me know what you think about my rewards and all that good stuff subscribe like comment subscribe subscribe again keep subscribing leave some comments leave some feedback subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video